check one two hey guys so i wanted to do this video on eyes i see a lot of people ask me questions about the eyes and the direction of the pupils and things like that so we're just going to fill these uh, spheres with eyes so right now i'm using um my brush sketchmaster 2 it's just kind of fat and kind of uh, light and that's just what i seem to sketch better with so first i'm just going to make the eye shapes And I'm basically just going to use this use this shape to sort of um, frame out frame the eyes. Okay, so and the arrows are going to be the ways that the eyes are pointing. This one is a little crooked, so let me straighten that out. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to make it a little bit darker over here just for like the sort of eyelash type area which I always do with my eyes okay so now these these eyes are looking in this direction so this one is going to be pretty close and almost outside of this this eyeball area this one's not going to be it's not going to be here because that's a little bit too far over so I'm just going to make it about here Because if it's looking at one thing, the eyes are going to be, they should always be slightly, they shouldn't match up. Like just because that eye's here doesn't mean that this eye should also be over here because then this one is looking way too far over. So we're just going to add it in here, here, and that way it looks like they're sort of looking down the line at the same thing. And I always do this thing where I, I always frame the eyes like this. Because when you frame them and leave space underneath the eyes, it's just a it's just something I do for the uh, to make sure that I have the correct space around the eyes. And then eventually I'll erase this this hard line here. You know, and obviously this all gets erased at some point in time, and this would all be like a shadow. But then it would go into the nose and stuff down here. A little bit of a surprise look here. Okay, so now we have the eyes looking that way. So let's make the eyes looking up a little bit. So I'll do the same thing. Let's draw a different style of eye. We'll draw a, mo a more thin style of eye. Little eye eyelid or um, eyelid type shape. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the eyebrows to, to help me in the construction of my, my eyes, to help me with the expression. So we'll make, we'll make this eye, uh, we'll make this the serious eyebrow. And it's sort of like a Nike swoosh. And then we'll make this one like the opposite Nike swoosh. So this eye, we'll, we'll do a little bit of a lid here. And then we'll we'll make this eye here. So I'm not going to put the eye in the middle. It doesn't look terrible, but I'm going to put this one a little bit a little bit closer to here. So so it's almost like whatever he or she is looking at is in this area. And again, I don't want to put it, I don't want to put this one in the middle too. That's more like a, and I guess it's more like a, 
a rolling of the eyes, but I still think it looks like this one is looking here and this one's looking here. So I'm going to hug. If I hug this part of the eye, then it looks it looks more like they're looking the eyes are looking in the same direction. Here. And you can also you can also kind of accentuate You know, if the eyes weren't thin, if they were kind of... Concerned, concerned look. But it's the same type of thing. You just don't want to have them... They don't need... If you have two eyes, it's just like they shouldn't be in the middle. This looks like a doll, like with like dead eyes. You want them to be sort of in the sort of in the middle. That way, it looks like it's the, the character is looking towards camera, camera being you or the viewer, I should say. Um, but actually, I noticed that the arrow is sort of pointing not straight up. So let's just uh, let's do a, a bonus on this one. And we'll do it more on the side. And if you notice, I do the same thing. This one is looking, it's not as, it's not as squeezed to the, uh, to on, in the corner. And this one is, is a little bit overlapping the corner. So just remember that, that Depending on which way the eye is looking, they don't have to, they shouldn't match up. They should be, one should be looking where they're supposed to be looking, the other one should be uh, looking in the same direction, but then a little bit closer to, to, to this eye, to one or the other. Okay, so now let's make looking up. Let's do more rounder, sort of more cartoony eyes. Okay, and this is pretty much what we did, and I'm just going to lean them both, both towards the center, so they both almost look like they're looking at the arrow. I mean, really, really high eyebrows would be up here. And then this one, the eyes are looking down. So we'll frame out the eyeballs again. And as you can see, I, pr I keep the eyes very simple. I don't go crazy with like the eye shape. I just keep them very simple. I make the line underneath and then I make the little dome. Then I do the darker line here. And I do some sort of eyelid. Okay, so these, let's see the eye is looking at this dot right here. So we'll make, so you kind of want it to be like this. So we'll make one here. You can even go over the line a little bit. And then one here. And then we'll do that without the without the example. So one here, even spilling over the line a little bit, and the other one be more in the corner. And 
second we'll do, but we'll do a concerned, our concerned uh, eyebrows. And look at these, looking at a heart. So hopefully that helps just with, um, you know, with, with the eyes. Uh, it's just important to not not make them an equal spot. They should be level. They should be level like here is good. Um, and unless you really, really like it, don't do the whole one eye like this and one eye like this. Uh, unless it's like some sort of character with two different types of eyes. Or if it's supposed to be looking really crazy. Like if you do one eye here and one eye here. You know, and you want them to be really like, you know, a really crazy character, then that works. But other than that, I would really try to keep the eyes the same, the same size. And also, last but not least, uh, like I said before, if you have two eyes... And you want to really give the character life and have it look like it's alive. And looking back at the viewer or back at you, then hug, hug the center. Put the eyes in the center. Rather than... rather than if you have the eyes and you have both the eyes in the center. See, there's a, there's a huge difference there. So much so that I need to get, I need to get rid of it. Too sweet. Hopefully those tips helped. Just keep practicing eyes. Do pages like this. And if you want to see how I how I started those out, all I do is I just make a oops. I just make an oval with a with a line here. And then if you want, you can do the you can do the uh, the eyebrows to help. And just do some domes. You know, you can even play with this. So there's there's tons of options. There's tons of things you can do. Um, but practice your eyes. Practice um, putting them in the right places, and just don't. And just keep practicing until you get it right. Eventually, you'll get it right, and you'll start. You'll start to to fluently like see and be able to put these in the right spots and your characters will be much much more alive so just keep practicing and uh i promise that you will get better and, and watch this video again you can do step by step with this video until it looks right um but as always keep drawing and i'll see you guys in the next video hey guys thank you so much for checking out the video i really appreciate each and every one of you uh, if you want to see more content like that, be sure to follow me on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, all Drug Free Dave. And also, if you want more in-depth structure tutorials, definitely check out my Skillshare courses. I have about 11 courses now. You can use the links below and get two weeks free. You can do all my classes for free. And also, there's a promotion going on right now where you can get one month free of Skillshare. So you can really level up and take a lot of classes and learn a lot of things on Skillshare. All right. Hope to see you there.